team keep it clean then i try to warn y'all subscribe and turn your notifications on because once stuff gets crazy as it is right now and has been literally all day i don't want you to miss a thing so subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video i know it's been a lot today like a whole lot it's like a, a movie's long worth of video today i hope y'all enjoy it i know some of y'all probably tired of seeing me and hearing my voice today but i still love y'all regardless anyway team keep it clean Ooh, I got a little scared with this one at first with Rashad Bateman. I got a little scared because when I saw it, it said that Rashad Bateman was placed on the di on the reserve did not report list. I was like, hold up, this is I know my guy's not holding out. Please, Rashad Bateman, don't hold out. Not right now, but that's that's not what it is. Let's read the entire report. It says Ravens placed wide receiver Rashad Bateman on the reserve did not report list. He was shut down for minicamp after getting a quarter zone shot in his foot to help with healing. And this is from Eric DaCosta. Shout out to Lacey DaCosta to the DaCosta family. Anyway, uh, he said, Eric DaCosta said, I have spoken to Rashad and we expect him here very soon. So I was like, okay. So that doesn't sound like hold out to me. Because initially it was when I saw, oh, did not report list. Like, oh, no, but okay, we get it. So hopefully the quarter zone shot. Them taking their time with Rashad Bateman training camp around the corner. Hopefully, that can help out and he can be good to go by the time the season rolls around. We'd love for him to be ready by training camp. Um, and obviously, he's going to have to get some practice in and whatnot. It ain't just like he's going to be, all right, quarter zone shot. It heals up. We'll wait for him. Hold him out to the regular season. Nah, it ain't going to be nothing like that. But it, it, he just need to get a little bit of time and practice or whatnot. And then as long as he's healthy for regular season, that's all he should be worried about, in my opinion. But also, now, um, here's where it gets a little dicey. Now, we did get the answer to some of our questions. Because remember, we, we said it in the Melvin Gordon video. And I'm a lot more calm now with the whole Melvin Gordon thing. Because y'all know, I was thinking, oh, are they trading JK? Or is Gus hurt or something like that? But I said toward the end of that video that we were going to get the answers to why they signed Melvin Gordon very, very soon. And we did. Right away. Uh, it says Baltimore placed one, two, three, four, five players on the physically unable to perform list, the pup list, to start training camp. Number one, J.K. Dobbins. Boom. There you go. There you go. J.K. Dobbins is starting the starting the camp off on the physically unable to perform list. So he, we should not expect him out there now with the physically unable to perform list. Let's break it down real quick. The pup list. At any time, at any point in time, when any of these five players that are on the pop the pup list. If they can pass the physical, they can pass the physical, the conditioning test and all that, they come off. They come off the, 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 the pup list right away as soon as they can pass it. Now, if they started the regular season on the pup list, did the NFL change it last year? Mm, I don't remember. But either way, normally when they start the, the regular season on the pup list, they have to miss the first six weeks at a minimum. But um there's ways around that because you could start a play on the regular season put them on injury reserve and now since you could bring a player back at any time from injuries well no three weeks from injury reserve then normally teams will do that if they know a player is going to be ready but anyway we get into into the depths and details of all that stuff we'll talk about that another time so back to this baltimore placed five players on the physically unable to perform list to start camp Running back J.K. Dobbins, so that answers why they signed Melvin Gordon. So that's cleared up. J.K. Dobbins still hurt, dealing with whatever he's dealing with. A miss being unhappy with his contract and whatnot. So J.K. just dealing with a whole lot of stuff right now. I think J.K. Dobbins need a hug. J.K. Dobbins, if you're watching this video, here's a hug from me to you, my friend. Cause I know right now it's, it's a struggle, man. And I ain't mad at you. I get it, man. You want your bread. You want to play. You want to be healthy. I know it's frustrating, but we rooting for you. And we want you to do very, very, very well. Not only for us as fans, but for yourself too. So you can get that bread. So hope you cash in. But anyway, so J.K. Dobbins, fullback Patrick Ricard. And Harbaugh, they've been told us about Pat Ricard that he had a, a surgery this offseason, I think. And they said that he was going to start the training camp and stuff on the pup list. So no surprise there with, with Pat Ricard. Uh, cornerback Pepe Williams. Now that is not good for him in terms of... The competition, again, they can come off anytime they pass the physical during training camp, but that's not good for him to start there uh, because, again, that, that, that nickel cornerback spot and just the third, fourth cornerback spot, it's up for grabs right now. And so that's not a good way to start off. Defensive tackle Rashad Nichols. Oh, I know they still had him. And wide receiver Mike. 
Thomas. So, mm, this presents big opportunity for a couple of people, especially when we talk about the running backs. One, Gus Edwards, but he was hurt. But let's see if 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 he's all ready to go uh, in a couple of days when they all report. That'd be nice. Because it'd be nice to have at least one of our top guys back. But if Gus is good, all right, cool. With Melvin Gordon, one thing about him, we know about the fumbles. We get it. But with Melvin Gordon, he has been very, despite the fumbles, he has been very productive. He puts up a significant amount of yards whenever he's out there consistently. So with J.K. Dobbins, the obvious hope is that the injury is nothing too serious. Hopefully this pup list is just extra precautionary. And I would, I would hope that it is. Cause I know Ravens over the past couple of years, they've been taking a lot of extra precautionary steps. Because before, <laughs> they weren't cautious at all. They said, oh, you hurt? You hurt? You limping? Get out there and play. Preseason? Oh, get out there and play. But these Ravens are different. Um, but this presents an opportunity for Gus Edwards, uh, for Melvin Gordon, also for Justice Hill. Justice Hill's a forgotten man. You don't hear many people talking about Justice Hill. But also for Keaton Mitchell. He can take a big opportunity for this because he is he, he's probably in the same spot on the depth chart now because first it was J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, Keaton Mitchell. But now it's Gus Edwards, Melvin Gordon, Justice Hill, Keaton Mitchell. So he's in the same spot on the depth chart in my opinion, but still he got to take advantage. And of course, I mean, he's going to be trying his best to do his best because this is a job. This is a job. This ain't no play play. This ain't no... Pick up football, back y'all. No, 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 no. This is professional football. So they all trying to make it, man. And with how the running back position is nowadays, how the market for the running back position is nowadays, it's that much harder for them. So you know he's going to be uh, putting in work. Um, for Patrick Card. Patrick Card. Patrick Rickard, excuse me. Um, big opportunity for Ben Mason, who the Ravens have just kept around. They drafted him, then cut him. He went to another team, then they brought him back, then they brought him back again, and, and he's still here. So big opportunity for him to really maybe not even push Pat Ricard for a job. I don't think it's a big opportunity for that. I don't think that, but um, maybe next year and in the future, maybe a, a way to really just be like, hey, make, to, to really put some pressure on the Ravens and make them think like, oh, hold up, we, we, we might have something here in Ben Mason. So this is an opportunity for him to be like, hey, I can do this. Like, hey, I got respect for Pat, got love for Pat, but I could hold it down at this spot too. Because it's competition, man. It's competition. Like, it's football's a nasty business. It's a nasty business, and somebody's always sitting there waiting, waiting to take your spot. Waiting. That's what the draft is about. That's what free agency is about. That's what all these seasons are about. That's, that's what the whole process is about. Somebody is always waiting to take your job none personal well in some cases it might be but usually none personal it's just a business it's just a business so that's why it's important for if you are the man up then you got to be on point and if you next man up then you just waiting salivating at the opportunity to get out there uh, on the field so uh and again we talked about pepe williams how they uh with the cornerbacks it's um it's a lot going on there uh and then uh, Ray Rashad Nichols and Mike Thomas. So busy day for the Ravens. Very, very busy day for the Ravens. Just a lot coming out about Baltimore the past couple hours. So I appreciate y'all that have uh, been here with the ride for us. All five videos today. Did not know it was going to be all five. I'm, I'm like, hey, we dropping the Lacey DaCosta interview on Friday. And that's going to be it. Nope. Ravens said no. No. You will do more. We got plenty more for you on the way. Okay, Baltimore, do your thing. But, no, I, I seriously love y'all. I appreciate y'all support. And make sure you leave a like on the video. Again, turn on your notifications. Subscribe to the channel. But turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. The stuff is crazy. It's insane. And it's only going to get busier. I love y'all. We out.